once upon a time, far from the turmoil of the busy world, there lived a monk. He dedicated himself to a life of prayer, of hard work, poverty, self-denial, and silence. His life was shut away from the temptations of ordinary mortals. He dedicated himself to God in a life that was literally out of this world. The idea of living a life cut off from your fellow men in order to worship God didn't really get going in the West until around 500 AD, when an Italian by the name of Benedict decided to escape city life and hide himself away in these mountains. Benedict hadn't liked Rome. For his taste, there was far too much eating, drinking and sex and generally having a good time. What he was looking for was a nice cave with no fitted carpets and no plumbing. Benedict just couldn't keep a good thing like this to himself. And soon there were lots of other would-be hermits joining him so they could not enjoy themselves in solitude together in the company of the great man. If there's one thing hermits like Benedict can't stand, it's overcrowding. And within a few years, he had so many followers sharing his solitude that he decided to organize them into separate communities, monasteries, and he wrote a book of rules for monks to follow. St. Benedict's book of rules became famous and his monasteries flourished. The monks had to support themselves and supply their own needs so they could keep their distance from the world. But keeping away from the world was to prove the one thing that monasteries weren't very good at. The unworldliness of monks just wasn't destined to last. 